please of Skibbity 63. Today we're checking out Skibbity Health Bars. Which Skibbities will survive? Let's find out. Skibbity 63. Now, this has been the long awaited episode 63. We've been waiting over seven days for this episode. Whoa! What is going on? Oh my. Okay. I've been waiting so long for this. Oh my. Look at the dead Skibbity. And oh my. He took off the cameraman's head. And I don't know. I don't know what to exp Oh gosh. This is so exciting, but it's so nerve wracking because we waited so long for this episode and it could have something amazing or something incredibly sad. Oh my gosh. We got the whole army here, dude. Let me know in the comment section if you missed the elite plunger man. <laughs> I miss him. Oh! <sighs> oh my gosh. He's so strong, dudes. What? No. Very scary. Very, very scary. It's a toilet skibbity with a jetpack. The skibbity scientist has been hard at work. No. I... Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> what the? Why? What is happening? <laughs> what? Okay, that's epic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh yeah, cameraman on top, baby. Oh man, we just saved that dude. This is cool, I guess. I've the cameraman won this episode with a thumbs up. Okay. Oh, that is so creepy. Ah, that's amazing. Oh, that's brutal. Whoa! This is cool, I guess. I've Mutant skibbities are... It's got like two... It, what just happened in this episode? That's crazy! What just happening? I can't believe this! I have more questions and answers and I don't know what... Pretty cool though! Episode 62 starts off crazy because we're doing surgery on a cameraman and the medics brought him back to life. But it's crazy because the big cameramen are bullying the little skibbity toilet with the sonic boom to destroy him. It looks like the cameramen have been doing a really good job winning. But as you guys know, they're about to take a massive L because the skibbity toilets are attacking. They all got upgrades. They've been upgraded by the skibbity scientist who also got some new upgrades. As you guys can see, he is teleporting in and he is massive. No. He is by far now, he is as big as a Titan. He is a skibbity scientist Titan. And as you can see, we've got to put the headphones on because well, it hurts our ears as the cameraman, which we don't have ears. It hurts the microphone. And as you can see, there's a lot of new mutant skibbities but we've got to figure out how the cameramen are going to win because right now the sonic boom literally just destroyed everything. No. Literally everything, and then we get destroyed. But never fear, guys, because the cameramen are running away from all these enemies, and as you can see, the new Buzzsaw RC car. I love these health bars. They show you all the new characters, and of course, the new YouTuber Skibbity Toilet that has new technology as well. Now, you have to remember, the last episode, 62, we took an L. In this episode, we took a sort of W, but as you guys saw, the new Skibbities have a lot of new technology like this light. This light doesn't affect the speaker woman. As you can see, she's much stronger than the YouTuber Geeky Jesus Skibbity Toilet. That's his official name, but this is after the moist critical YouTuber and we easily flush him down. But the scientist Skibbity has been hard at work. But honestly, I really like the speaker woman. Now, it's about to be a crazy upcoming few episodes in Skibbity because as you guys know, from this point on, we get the thumbs up a lot. So as you guys know, in the most recent episodes and season, we were taking a lot of wins as the Alliance, but we've got to go back to episode 52 to see how it all shaped out. We were taking a lot of L's. Like this episode, we literally lost our face as a speaker head. And then the elite plungerman saw this UFO skibbity and wanted to attack him. Now, this was one of the first times we really saw how powerful this UFO skibbity is. And he's really important to remember because you guys know what happens later on in the episodes. Now, technically, we win this one because it's the introduction of our massive tank. But it gets really crazy in the next few episodes. We even get the thumbs up, meaning we won. So that's one thumbs up in episode 52. Then we had episode 53, where as you guys know, things got a little crazy with the new paralysis blasters, which honestly are amazing. We were able to slap the Jeebus out of this toilet, flush them down, and then it was the introduction of the brand new stun sticks in 53. Now he goes down because the big cameraman used a stun stick. We flushed them, but of course, this is the appearance of the glitch toilet. 
We got the thumbs up, meaning we had won, but it was an early thumbs up because the glitch toilet wiped out a lot of the cameramen and even hit the, the TV woman, but her head comes off. We were able to stop the glitch toilet and then go ahead and use the paralysis blaster on him from the brand new mech. That's right. Now, this mech helped us with the glitch toilet, meaning that we now have the glitch toilet technology. And of course, you guys know the brown suit cameraman is in love with TV woman. She doesn't like him like that, all right? Then in episode 54, we had the introduction of the tank. We were going towards the Stibity headquarters. This was supposed to be the big fight. You know, we had the helicopter skibbities that went down super easy. No problem. Then we had the introduction of the giant bathtub toilet. The first time we ever saw them and they got destroyed by the camera tie. like literally they didn't stand a chance. I don't know what they were thinking. They got destroyed. As you guys know, the camera tie is so strong. And of course that was the next time we saw the UFO skibbity. He destroyed so many cameramen reinforcements that it made the camera Titan so mad that he ended up leaving and then we saw the black smoke that black smoke is a teleportation of the toxic skull toilet that you see just wiped out the large pulse tank and of course a lot of cameramen we end up blasting him with our arm blaster but it takes damage you can see the titan camera v2 has a low health bar he's like 75 percent health and that is not a thumbs up that is not a thumbs up because we lost our tank the next episode you can see we are absolutely destroying toilets there's even a secret agent in this episode and upgraded TV men with knives in their hands. But then we get the notification about the tank early thumbs up. This was not a thumbs up episode. Remember, we only win an episode if we get the thumbs up at the end. If we don't get the thumbs up at the end, he says you had one job. He's mad. He disappears. And at that moment, the zombie time speaker man arrives. You can see this cameraman's on fire and boom. This is when the infected Titan speaker man comes in and it's just bad news guys. It's really bad news because this is when he was absolutely upgraded and no one in the battlefield right now is strong enough to take out the zombie Titan speaker man or the infected Titan speaker man. As you guys know, this episode was absolutely brutal for all the cameramen. In episode 57, this is part one, we went head to head against the zombie Titan speaker man. He destroyed a speaker man friend, a bunch of cameramen, and even a pulse tank. You can see all the health bars down below getting absolutely destroyed. We've got our Titan cameraman flying in. He goes, no, no, no. He covers his chest piece, brings out his, his shoulder turrets, and he absolutely just charges ahead. He's able to put some serious damage into the speaker Titan, but not enough to go ahead and destroy him. He just wanted to slow him down because as you guys know, the camera Titan doesn't want to hurt the Titan speaker man because he's still a good friend. G-Man arrives with six lasers and of course the jetpack, headphones, and sunglasses. And that's when the elite plungerman goes in to try to remove the parasite. It goes terrible. Absolutely terrible. We thought that the plunger had some kind of secret tracker on it or something. Nope. The plunger man goes down. But as you know, he's not. The Titan cameraman is going head to head against G-Man. He burns his face off, hammers him down. And I used to think that the hammer was then destroyed, but it's not. We've seen it in new episodes. And this is when he goes ahead and finishes off the Titan speaker. And you can see the health bars. The Titan cameraman took like no damage at all from that malformed Strider toilet, like no damage at all. And of course a parasite tried infecting the Titan cameraman. No luck for him. And this is when he gets more blasts on him. But guess what? The TV woman teleports down onto the zombie Titan speaker man. And this is when we finally get our good friend back. This was one of my favorite episodes. 57, G-Man gets distracted by camera woman and us shooting blasters. He goes to shoot us, the POV, but then realizes that the infected speaker man has been uninfected and he has to leave. He flew away. TV woman grabs the elite plunger man. And of course the brown suit man is left there to die. It's so sad. We remove the, the giant parasite from the zombie speaker man. We crush that bad boy. He's now gone, dunzoed. And at this moment, this is the most sad episode we had seen in a long time. You can still see the little plunger attached to his face. The elite plunger is still there. You can see it. And he's just so depressed and sad and angry that he was infected for so long that he actually flew in the same direction as G-Man 
to go after him, but we got the thumbs up, meaning we won that episode. 58 gets a little crazy, guys. I'll be honest. This is the first time we saw Skibbities out of their, you know, I don't know what happened here. The mutant Skibbity scientist had been hard at work. This was the first introduction to really crazy mutant Skibbities. Slowly but surely, we got more mutants, large toilet men, and of course, the Titan Speaker Man was not happy. Now, he is now uninfected and has all the upgrades, and he's able to destroy the dual buzzsaw mutant toilet. But this episode shows you guys how many Skibbities are really out there, and it's all because the scientist Skibbity has been working super hard to destroy the cameraman. We do the Iron Man helicopter move here and get rid of like seven dual missile helicopter toilets, which is pretty flippin' awesome. And then the camera Titan arrives like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> He's like, how did that just all get? Okay, he flies away. And then, you know, we got our guys here that gives a thumbs up. Throughout these episodes, there's also been the secret agent in multiple scenes here. If you watch my secret breakdown analysis video, I showcase all the secrets. And this is another mutant, this massive flying octo. Oh no, this is the, wait, this is the dual laser launcher toilet. This one is another mutant. He gets his helmet removed here, but look how big he is. He's no match for the Titans, but you have to admit, all these guys would be in trouble like the Titans would be in trouble if all the Skibbities worked together. But they don't do a very good job at teamwork, as you can see. Like, the Titans, they've got like, you know, they're working together. And even the Speakerman returning in this episode was super epic. It's like the big return. The Speaker family is back. The Alliance is back together. And it was like a really nice moment where like we got thumbs up and it was just awesome. But as you guys know, things are super looking good for, for the Alliance. We've gotten W after W after W, and then we had this episode with G-Man, right? The Astro Detainer Toilet went ahead and was very mad that they lost the infected speaker Titan. He's like yelling at him like, how could you? How could you lose our strongest weapon? What were you thinking? How are you so bad? And then G-Man got mad like, don't you dare say that to me. And then they tried going to go ahead and like destroy G-Man. They almost did, look at his health bar. His health bar went down to like 30%, which is really crazy. And that's when we saw the scientist Skibbity get introduced. And we, yeah, it, it got really bad for the Astro brothers. Those are the Astro brothers, the Astro Toilet brothers. Super thankful he got saved. And then, well, he saw that we were there and things got really, really sloppy. But we got the thumbs up, which means we won this episode and it was the first time we ever got to see outside of the POV cameraman through a giant TV man, which overall is insanely awesome. So if you guys enjoyed all this, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button.